We are learning of the degree and the scope of Russian social media ads, how many people they reach leading up to the 2016 election. 126 million people exposed to Facebook ads alone. Senator, how concerned are you with the influence those ads had? You're up for re-election next year. Is Congress doing enough ahead of the midterms to stop this? I would like us to see to see us do a whole lot more. Uh, I think we should be deeply concerned that if we don't get ahead of this now, that we will lose control of our own democratic process. Uh, there is no world that we live in in which, in an American election, you should be able to advertise, uh, basically run political ads in the United States, paid for by credit cards in St. Petersburg and in rubles. Uh, it is in our uh, best interest to get ahead of these things while we still can. I've introduced legislation with, with Senator Collins of Maine to do that with our election infrastructure. Uh, we know that they were probing our election infrastructure. They know, we know that they were trying to get inside of the state level databases. Mm -hmm. uh, and we need to do things now that can prevent the impact of that in 2018, 2020, 2022. Uh, we've tried to craft some very nonpartisan legislation that will help Republican and Democratic secretaries of state around the country say to their constituents, we know we can secure our democracy and work together to do it.